the Georgia and TCU College Football Playoff National Championship game. And we are going to start, of course, with the numbers here. Georgia is currently a 12-point favorite. It has come down from 13 and a half. The total opened at 64. It is down to 63. So let's see what the numbers say. Uh, my projected total here, even opponent adjusted, all that kind of mess, is 69 on this. And I've got Georgia winning eh, 40 to 29, somewhere around there. I've got Georgia favored by 11.29. Now, this is based on stats from week eight of the season through the end of the year. Now, why this could be a little weird is TCU is significantly healthier. Now, I, I, obviously, we're looking at the Kendra Miller stuff, right? Kendra Miller may not play in this game. Who knows? Uh, I think he's going to try and give it a go, but he tweaked a knee, and that's that's obviously an issue. But let's uh, let's look at some of the numbers and kind of get an idea of what we're looking at here. Uh, it's number one versus number two as far as strength of record is concerned. Strength of schedule, TCU number 11, Georgia number 12. Georgia has played more top-end teams. Uh, TCU has played just strong team after strong team after strong team. So they continue to uh, to do these things. Uh, they continue to play against tough competition and uh, and they don't get blown out by anybody because they've won every game but one and they lost that one in overtime on a field goal. Uh, and really depending on where you think that spot was they probably won that game against Kansas State. But either way, we're not going to go there. What we're going to do is talk about who has an advantage here. And obviously Georgia has a big advantage. Uh, their offense since week 8 number 3 in PPA per pass, number Number four in passing success rate, that TCU defense, number 18 PPA per pass allowed, number 31 passing success rate allowed. At Georgia's explosive play rate, uh, as far as passing, number 48 in the country, TCU's defense, number 85. So TCU, uh, they, they can give up a big play here and there. Uh, same thing on the other side, as far as rushing the ball, TCU's defense, number 79, rushing explosiveness allowed, and Georgia's offense, number 56 in rushing explosiveness. Uh, Georgia is not as good at running the football as, as one might think that they are. They're number 84 PPA per rush versus TCU number 76 on defense. And Georgia is number 69 in rushing success rate, and they are number uh, TCU is number 73. And there's just not a lot good there. And yet, when you look at standard downs PPA, standard down success, uh, Georgia does a lot of their damage on early down. Number 22 standard downs PPA, and they are uh, let's see, da, 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 I lost it, I lost it. Uh, number 46 in standard down success against number 74 for TCU's defense. So Georgia, we believe, has an advantage on the offensive side of the ball. <clears throat> what about when TCU has the ball? TCU, number 57 PPA per pass, number 67 passing success rate. Well, that is against Georgia's defense, number 26 PPA per pass allowed, and number 50 passing success rate. Uh, PPA per rush? TCU did a pretty good job running the ball against Michigan. Uh, they were able to disguise it, scheme it in different ways, and that's that's the biggest advantage that I think for TCU here. Uh, but PPA per rush, the number 67 since week eight. Georgia's defense, number 11 there, and TCU number 63 rushing success rate. Uh, Georgia's defense, number 19 on that. Uh, there's not Georgia does not give up a lot of explosive plays. Uh, they are number 41 in passing explosiveness allowed, number 18 in rushing explosiveness allowed. So uh, there's not. A, a ton of an advantage here for TCU on either side of the ball. But one thing that I always like to look at here, I'm sure you can see it on your screen where I just highlighted, turnover margin. That is a big, big issue here. Uh, TCU is number 17 in the country in turnover margin. Georgia is number 75. Georgia does not create takeaways, and TCU doesn't really turn the ball over much. TCU is number 14 in the country in giveaways per game. Georgia on defense, number 102 in takeaways. Georgia on offense, number 44 in giveaways. Uh, TCU's defense, number 50 in takeaways. So eh, both are about average uh, in that regard. But when TCU is on offense, they don't really turn the ball up. Uh, that three turnover game that they had against Michigan, that's a bit of an anomaly. Uh, when I look at this, I, I see like points per game margin. I see defensive and offensive red zone conversion percentage, etc. Uh, my number is within the 12 here but man the talent differential is just massive i mean it is huge uh, if Darnell Washington is out in this game, it's going to change a lot of what they do. Uh, I think the fact that Georgia does have a lot of those skill guys. I, now, don't get me wrong. I think that the the uh, the spill and kill uh, defense that Joe Gillespie run is going to be effective against Stetson Bennett, especially early. But I think Georgia is going to be able to score points, like a lot of points. I don't know that TCU is going to be able to score a lot. So, eh. This thing's under two touchdowns. Like I, I've gone back and forth, back and forth on this. I think at this point in time, I think even though I was leaning TCU, even on the BetUS show, I think at this point with how much public 
uh, support there is on TCU, probably going to have to go Georgia. I'm going to go against my number here. Uh, I'm going to go Georgia minus the 12. Um, I think that number is going to get a little bit lower, so I wouldn't exactly take it right now. But yeah, that's uh, that's one to pay attention to. I would certainly, certainly watch out for that one. Georgia minus 12 is the way that I'm going to go on this one right now. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.